Hi everyone, and welcome to my first officer guide. With this guide, I will teach you all you need to know to get started on FO. There are timestamps for each section of this video in the comments section. FO has four external traits, Poseidon Watch, Vanish, self end and Hypnosis Dispel. Let's start off with Poseidon Watch and Hypnosis Dispel. Both external traits are in regards to his watch. FO has two watches per game. When using it, there is a mini animation, and during that animation, FO cannot interact with anything in the game. The watch gives you a 10% movement speed buff, and causes a hypnosis where the hunter sees a delayed image of you. The hypnosis from FO's watch will be removed when you touch the chair, or when you receive damage from the hunter. The watch also provides you with a 5 seconds tide upon receiving damage. Though, keep in mind that the 5 seconds tide will not take effect if you get terror shot. Each watch has 3 stages of hypnosis, and each stage can last up to 10 seconds. The first stage affects a radius of 32 meters and affected hunters will see a 1 second delayed image of the FO. The second stage only affects a radius of 10 meters, and causes a 2 seconds delayed image. The third stage affects a radius of 6 meters, and also causes a 2 seconds delayed image. Do note that if the hunter is outside the radius when you use the watch, the hypnosis effect will not happen. The hypnosis will also be removed if the hunter is outside the radius when you use the next stage of the watch. You know the hunter is hypnotized when you see floating Zs above their head. Now let's talk about FO's next trait, Vanish. Whenever FO rescues a survivor, that survivor will turn into a splitting image of him for a period of time. However, the disguise does not change the survivor's item or accessory. This disguise will immediately be removed when the survivor uses their skill. The disguise will also be removed upon secondary damage such as bombs or statues. And this leads to our first tip. Avoid carrying distinctive accessories when there is an FO in the team. Distinctive accessories make it easier for the hunter to identify who is who after a rescue. Now let's talk about his last external trait, Selfkin. FO has a 20% decoding debuff. He also has a 20% slowdown on chair, which makes him the survivor with the longest chair time in the game. And that is all we have for FO's external traits. Let's move on to Persona. First officer is considered the main rescuer in most team combis, so he needs to bring 3-6. With the extra points I usually bring sticker, teammate healing speed, and cold. Mm. However, mm. in larger maps I bring 369. Mm. This is because if my teammate is downed at the other side of the map, I can get the extra speed boost from vaulting a pallet to close the distance. FO is strong in a sense where his watch counters most hunters in general by reducing the possibility of them landing an attack while he is using said watch. This makes him an excellent kiter and a good rescuer. His watch especially counters BQ. If he uses the watch, BQ's mirror cannot detect him. However, there are hunters who counter him. And by hunters, I mean one hunter. That hunter is Anne. Anne's cats won't be fooled by FO's hypnosis, and would still jump on you when you're within range. Let's play. Spot the first officer. There he is. Another two counters would be White Guard Siphon. And Hell Ember's Magma. 
Both can reveal your actual location, but they're much softer counters. Now let's discuss his playstyle. Whenever I play Rescuer, I like to make a lot of noise during my early game. This is because there are no benefits for hunters to chase a rescuer first. Rescuers are the slowest decoders in a game, and are typically built to kite well. Finding a rescuer early game promotes rotation, and if the hunter chooses to chase the rescuer first, Cypher Rush. Now the question is what happens if you get found first as a first officer? While most hunters would just change target upon meeting you, there are some hunters who will try to land a hit on you before changing target. If you ever find yourself being first kiter, just use your watch, the hunter would most likely leave you alone after you do so. Some might think it's a waste of his watch, especially considering the fact that FO only has two watches per game. However, it is more advantageous to use the watch than not using it. This is because you're the main rescuer. If you let yourself get injured, you won't be able to do first save unless you get healed first. Finding someone to heal you wastes time and slows cypher rush. We are now approaching the end of this video and before I end it, I'd like to share some extra tips on first officer that might help you in your matches as him. If you use the watch too late, you will most likely eat a free hit right after and waste the watch. To avoid this, you want to use the watch earlier. FO's blood trails still follow his main body when using the watch, so if you run in a straight line, the hunter can tell where you are. You want to remain unpredictable while using the watch. Run back and forth, left and right, not straight. This tip is more for kiting as FO. If you find yourself kiting as him, you want to avoid vaulting or slamming pallets unless necessary. Just keep looping areas and running unpredictable routes, and you can also use it to transition to better kiting areas. Finally, before I end this video, do comment one of these four hashtags on the screen. I will choose a character from the faction with the most votes. Also feel free to comment anything I may have missed out during the first officer guide. This is N, signing out.